Jenny, what, what ways can we save our cash at Christmas, though, do you think? Give us a few tips. Well, I've been thinking about this one, and I think... I've, got, I've come up with four ideas. The first one is be brave, and you wait until the very, very last minute in the supermarket, the last hour, and then you go buzzing around with your trolley. This I'm, is on Christmas Eve, I think, yes. is it? Well, it's, I'm, I'm trying to be budget conscious. Yeah, OK. So I'm going to go... Right, well, I'm not, but one could go rushing around with the trolley and pick up all the bargains. So, you know, but you've got to be brave to do that. Mm. Um, the next thing is to, of course, start buying now. And I've seen lots of things around the shop, which I'll come back to later. So that if you start buying things from now on, only the bargains, then you can store them in your fridge or your freezer or wherever you need to store them. Um, and you're ready for Christmas. So you can be canny there. And you see, the real trick there, I think, is, isn't it, that if, you, if, you're, if the shops have these, what do they call them, lost leader sales, which yes, entice you in, the real bargains. Absolutely. The, the trick is to buy just the bargains yes. and walk yes. out. Well, that, that's another tip you've just pinched from me. Because, oh, that's one of my yeah. own as well. Oh, yeah, but well, I, I never live up to it, I have to say. It's one. That, it's a thing that I always think, you know, they're really, yeah. really screwing you now, because here I go, I saw that thing in the window, thought it was a good idea, but I go out with a truckload of yes, stuff. Yes, that's it. And I, I was going to say, actually, only buy the bargains and then walk out. Mm. Don't be tempted at, uh, with all the other stuff you see. So you can really budget then. The other idea is actually to talk to your friends and family and say, come on, let's all share this. And somebody provides a starter, somebody else pays for the turkey, somebody else the veg and so on and so forth. But I would suggest there that everybody chips into the booze because um, that's quite heavy for one person. Mm. So you can be different in that instance. And the other one is be clever. Uh, have a chat with your, your friends and neighbours and instead of buying sort of a half a dozen mince pies, buy a dozen mince pies and then split the cost between you because larger quantities are usually cheaper. Mm. So, you know, I feel there's, there's ways you can do it depending on your mood. I, I like the fun of um, rushing around the supermarket, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea too, but I think it's maybe to be recommended for those who don't have to ha entertain people that they want to impress. Yeah, oh yes, definitely. Yeah. Otherwise they could be in real trouble, you know, fish fingers and chips. <laughs> <laughs> done before. <laughs> Is it the case, do you think, that late in the day on Christmas Eve there's still a lot? I mean, would you find a turkey, for example? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, um, in fact, I was reading something today. Somebody said that they'd done what I was going to suggest uh, last year, and they actually do come up with the bargains, but you have to have an alternative in mind. You know, it's no good saying, well, I'm definitely going to have a turkey come what may, because you'll probably be dead by the time you find it. But um, if you can do it, fine. If not, go for a chicken or partridge or something else that's mm. different. But it's really worthwhile. And be clever, I suppose, about it. Tell the family that maybe this Christmas we'll have something different, you know. Absolutely. And I'm going to be a surprise. <laughs> There's the one. Exactly. Very good idea. Free call 0500 1053 89. That's the number you need to get through to my two Christmas consultants here, Jolly Jenny and Merry Mike. And of course, they're all set, ready, poised to sort out your festive finance. We're only getting going now, really. I'm BB Baskin, your new voice on Saturday nights, and this is Talk Radio. Talk to BB Baskin. Free call 0500 10 89. Yeah, it's the big countdown to December the 25th, and my Christmas consultants, Mike and Jenny, are here to deal with all your calls on 0500 1053 89. So let's hear from you right away, 0500 1053 89. Um, let's have some more bargain ideas, Jenny. Yes, well, um, now, I, it depends, really, but I think let's just go on to buying things. You know, I was saying earlier about buying bargains now and putting them away. Yeah. I had a, I had to search around some of the supermarkets this week just to see it out of interest. Um, remember, you don't have to buy a whole turkey. You can buy it in pieces. Mm. And, um, Which makes it easier to carve much then, too. Well, you can get a whole piece of turkey yeah. to somebody. You don't have to bother. But if you're really into carving, then I saw a breast joint which was quite big uh, for four pounds, which I thought was quite a good buy if you were serving four. That's a pound a head. The other thing we all temp we're all rather tempted to do is buy an enormous pudding <coughs> and only a tiny, tiny piece of it is eaten. So don't waste your money on a great big Christmas pudding. Buy four mini ones. Mm. Much cheaper. I've, I've had a look and they are. Mm, good idea. I had inspiration, I thought. I bet everybody out there has done it, but you know you can get bargain chocolate gattos nowadays. No. Well, you can. Mm. For 99p and they're not bad. Buy one of those, sprinkle it with icing sugar and stuff in a, a 
Christmas tree or a Father Christmas on top, and boom, you've got your Christmas good. Mm, no excellent. problem. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I saw... L let yeah. me give out our number again, because Peter's just told me I've been forgetting oh. about it. Your free call 0500 105389. Uh. Lest you should forget, give us a call right away. Free call 0500 105389. Sorry about that, but better to do it now oh, than yes, later, Jenny. Yes. Well, yes. somebody may have some better ideas than I've come up I with. I think you're doing pretty good. Um, oh, the other thing I saw, you know, we all, we all tend to buy ham, those of us that eat meat, and it's quite expensive. But I notice now that lots of the supermarkets are doing it in sort of big packets. It's wafer-thin strips. Now, if you buy that, you've got plenty for a, a pound in weight or 400 grams, two pounds and nine pence. You couldn't do better. And all you do is put these thin strips in, you know, in a, in a pile, and they're really quite good. Hmm. Um, Wine, well, of course, we all know about wine bargains, but I did find one this week under uh, three pounds, so taken a pound off. Um, and drinkable. Drinkable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I've tried I tried it. <laughs> oh, should have known. We are again. should have known. All, in the, uh, all for the sake of your work, of course. It was oh, research, that's all. Absolutely. But, but how do we find these bargains? I mean, you're good, obviously, at nosing out these things. I mean, should we read the papers, the weekend papers? Listen yes. to talk radio, of course, it goes without saying. Absolutely. Yes, the thing is that lots of the newspapers now do give a rundown of special buys. The supermarkets are advertising quite a lot nowadays on the television, and also I've noticed that uh, they have handouts now which illustrate the sort of things they're going to do. I mean, recently, I think it, one of the supermarkets, uh, Iceland, was giving away a chicken. Uh, no, not giving away the chicken, but you bought the chicken and got mm. veg free. So just keep an eye on the papers and also on the window placards because a lot of them put some decent bargains up. But back to what you and I were saying earlier, only buy the bargains. Don't mm. get waylaid. That's the old discipline yes, thing. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's take another call. Danny from London. You're on Talk Radio. Hello, Danny. Hello there. Good, uh, good evening. Good evening to you. How are you? I'm okay, thank you very good. much. I, I've just been listening to your uh, radio show, mm -hmm. and I, I just can't believe that what's the big deal about Turkey, you know, because <laughs> in, the, in the summer, yeah. honestly, in the summer you can buy Turkey for next to nothing. Mm -hmm. It comes up to Christmas and they want to charge silly prices for it. Well done. You found bargains in the summer. Now, that's one of the things I would always say, and in fact, I do it. I buy very often food in the summer, like a turkey, as you've just said, they're super prices. Yes. And then I freeze it. And yes. most people have a freezer nowadays. So actually, you are giving a tip to all of us because... Well, you see, I mean, I'm a solicitor. I'm, I'm here to save people money, not oh, just to earn myself a fortune you know. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you right. know, so, I mean, this is what I'm saying. They should yes. either buy the turkey in the summer and freeze it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I Absolutely mean, if, right. if they've got a proper freeze, there's no problem. Yes. Well, of course, it's too late now for that, Danny. So what do you advise them to do? Well, I would advise them to buy plenty of turkey this year in, in the summer, mm -hmm. freeze it in the summer, mm -hmm. sell it to your friends cheaper in the winter, <laughs> and you'll get your turkey for nothing. <laughs> well, that's, what I, that's what I would advise anybody uh, to do. Oh, Danny, why don't they make all men like you? Sounds well, there like, you go. Sounds okay, like a good yeah. idea. Thanks for the call. Thank you, Ray. Take care. Yeah. Yeah, that clever fellow. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Free call 0500 103389. That's our number, and we're here to take your calls about uh, saving a few bob at Christmas. If you have any fancy ideas, we'd love to hear from you. Free call 0500 103389. And of course, if you have any queries for our Christmas consultants about the right present, please do give us a call as well. Our fax number 0541 596979. Well, now, our I think it's time we got into some of that lovely knowledge that you've brought in, Jenny, oh, because good. at this stage of the <laughs> evening, we, we normally, well, we've tried those Christmas crisps, we've tried cheeses, we've tried chocolates in recent weeks, but um, what is it going to be today? Well, I have several things, actually. Um, I think, well, I'll let, I'll let um, Father Christmas come in in a minute, I think, but while we're waiting for Father Christmas, I found some chocolates, oh. and they're, uh, Elizabeth Shaw, most of us know the name, but... Oh, yes, indeed, Elizabeth Shaw, you yeah. get double money here, because for one chocolate, you actually get two in the... Now, come on, let me hand them round, this oh, is the best yes. way. Yeah. They're beautifully packed. Oh, hang um, on, now, they're different they colours. I see here gold, uh, strawberry. Right. Is that a, going to be strawberry chocolate inside? Ah, is now, it? when you open it... Oh, you find, depending on which one you've chosen, you could have hazelnut 
as one chocolate, oh. and almond pr praline on, or one. praline as the other. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I mean, like, piggy, piggy, piggy. Me oh, you've yeah. got a fudge and, and on one chocolate and oh. a vanilla on the other. Nice. Oh, so nice. It's two in one. Two in one. So, although they mm. are about, um, I think it's three ninety nine. Remember, I know I'm on to bargain day today, so you're getting two chocolates for the price of one. Added to which, everyone tries to be polite at Christmas. You know, you're dying to have a second chocolate. You have mm. to wait for ages. Well, this way you've got two, and you don't have to wait. So it's actually two separate chocolates wrapped up in the one. Um, yes, like a little paper. round truffle. Mm. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Oh, they are delicious. Absolutely. Yeah. And when you finish that one, you can try the other one. <coughs> and I'll even let you have two if you like. Well, I can't so, talk while I'm doing this, you know. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, you oh, really good. good. You did it quite well, actually. Oh. <laughs> so that's my, my, my sort of double bargain there. They're called Elizabeth Shaw Double Truffle Chocolates, and they're available, I believe, from most supermarkets and good um, uh, confectioners, and the great sum of, which isn't too bad, I don't think, three ninety nine. So Excellent. well worth having, I think. Yeah, and freely available. Not freely available, but I mean, not, not hard <laughs> to find. <laughs> Free here for you. <laughs> <laughs> but not hard to find in no, it's not at all. They're definitely available. Well, we do have one of Santa's reindeers with us this week, you know, and I think we'll be getting coffee any minute from them. Oh, 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 here he is. Lovely, yep, lovely. Yep, 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 yep. Not a very right good nose. idea, no. Um, but I think what we're going to do, first of all, is uh, just give out the number again. Free call 0500 105389. While we talk up the scores, we've got to, of, of our, on our festive food check, we do want you to keep your calls coming, you know. Uh, do men spend the most at Christmas? That's one of the questions we've been asking. Apparently, you do. I don't believe it. I mean, I know the survey said that, but I don't believe it. And also, do you know a real-life Scrooge? I fancy getting the dirt on a real-life Scrooge. Do you fancy yeah. Yes, I think yeah. everybody's been very modest, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I'd just like to know. Free oh. call 0500. Santa's <laughs> giving you a free call 0500. Oh, he wants a chocolate. That's oh, that what the trouble is? is. Hang on, let's give him a chocolate. 0500 10 53 89. This is Phoebe Baskin here, and you're listening to Talk Radio. Those chocolates were delish, but, you know, my diet goes to hell every time I come to Talk Radio. It just isn't fair. <laughs> there I am, trying to lose a few pounds before Christmas, and bingo, you bring in all this delish stuff. Well, you can afford it. You're quite slender. So don't worry about it. Thank you, Enjoy darling. It. Thank you, thank you. Okay, <laughs> Santa's reindeer is oh, getting yeah. impatient. Oh, oh, come on, let's have it. Pour it, pour it. <laughs> what now, is it? Well, this is a, a flavoured coffee. It's mm. it's ground coffee, which I made up earlier for you, actually. Mm. And smells smell. mm. faintly um, alcoholic. Absolutely. Here we go again. Yeah, your Santa is going to <laughs> ring any minute and say, <laughs> now you're drinking a brandy cream. I Coffee. sure am, yes. let me tell you. Oh, and, wow. And um, there's mm. four flavours. You can either have chocolate orange, vanilla, brandy cream, or Irish cream. And they are very... You know we're talking about bargains today. Well, if you think about it, the price of this uh, for a proper pack is £1.99. Mm -hmm. It does mean you can serve a flavoured coffee wow. instead of having to add booze, which, of course, is more expensive. Mm. So it's a nice, cheap way around it. Um, the make, it's called Epicerie Saint-Georges, and they also <laughs> do... Did you like that? <laughs> did did you say it again? That? Well, that way, or the, the first other way. word. Uh, Epicerie. <laughs> 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 oh, dear, not You me. said it, Jenny, I didn't. Give that girl more brandy coffee. <laughs> it doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it again, otherwise right. I'll die. Mm. But one of the things I did find, which I thought was quite helpful, I've mentioned the packet uh, at one ninety nine. but they are actually doing a selection, a, a selection of the four coffees, and Sainsbury's are doing this, in a gift pack so you know you could give it as a gift nice reasonable gift only 3.99 and then whoever has it can try all four flavors then eventually if they like one or the other they can choose it um but it looks very christmasy as well exactly, in the gold gold yes. foil yes. there let's have a look here what's that green, green oh yes green, green and, and, and lost gold very nice and four different flavors yes. there irish cream as you said and you see it's made with pure ground coffee it's not mm, it's, it's not the real so, stuff it's the real mccoy and it does taste good doesn't it, it well i want to ask mike because mm. let's do a proper shall we do a rating out of 10 on it. What would okay. you say, Mike? Come on, Mike. Sounds nice. Have you got the brandy one as well? Yes, I've, yeah. I've just given everybody brandy tonight. <laughs> I'd give that a... I'm feeling like an that, eight. An, an eight. eight. That's an good. eight out of ten, definitely. What I, as, as compared to 
original brandy beer and proper brandy beer put in there. Well, you'd probably put more in, wouldn't That's you? True. Yeah. No, actually, I, I think there's quite a lot in there. It certainly mm. tastes as if there is. I haven't started to it's sing fine. yet, haven't I? <laughs> that should be avoided. You're not driving home, right? No, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> what I do like about that is that, you know, very often when you buy these products, I find that have reputedly some booze mm. in them. It, it tastes like essence you know yeah, the essence it you actually put tastes in. like essence mm. yeah it's, it's, this taste yeah, it really does taste genuine, like the real thing i'd give it nine out of ten that's not that's bad, bad yeah it? i think it's really and good. you could save oh. money at christmas if you so desired yeah mm. not a bad find this yeah no, that's Oh, oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Can we, what, what, do rangers drink coffee? Well, I, I think, think this one does. <laughs> It'll be yeah, in fact, time. he's just walked off with a whole shit and gallery. <laughs> Santa, you are very naughty with your reindeer. Yep, um, all right, off he goes. Um, let's go to, lucky for you, Mike, I'm going to go and talk to Joan, who's in Edinburgh. Good evening, Joan, you're on Talk Radio. Oh, hello. Um, is it possible to make and cook your Christmas pudding in a microwave? Jenny. I have seen bare warnings about <laughs> sugar and alcohol and what happens to it in the microwave. Absolutely. You can cook Christmas puddings in the microwave. The important thing is to know the output of your microwave. 800. 800 watt, fine. And then a lot of the manufacturers only buy those that the manufacturer, uh, if you're buying them... No, uh, making them. Oh, yes, I, I mean, I make my own and use them in, uh, cook them in the microwave. Uh, usually it's uh, not for an 800, but for a 700, it's about five minutes on, five minutes off, and five minutes on. But That's right on the defrost thing. Uh, no, no, that was on That's full on 50 percent. But what I would suggest, if I may, just to give you guidance at this stage, um, if you go to your library mm -hmm. and have a look at the microwave cookery books, there you're bound to find a recipe that is similar to the one that you wish to use, mm -hmm. and then you could use the timing then. But I would really believe it would be better if you found a recipe that was specifically designed for microwave cooking because it's difficult to know quite what's in your in, in all the recipes that everybody does mm -hmm. and uh, you're quite right you should be very careful that you don't overheat it because if there's a lot of alcohol in it uh, uh, you could get spontaneous combustion yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Um, we don't want a hot christmas but i promise you it can be done but i would suggest you go to the library and find a recipe that you you like and then use that well, make, 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 say something to you ladies. Don't worry about how much you eat over the Christmas. Oh? I was a guinea pig for the Department of Nutrition at London University oh. at one time. Uh -huh. And had conversations with the professor at the time. And he said, don't worry about Christmas. It's not what you eat then. It's what you eat the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> wise man. Exactly. You know, I think you've cheered me up already, Joe. It's a great idea. I shall carry that through right to the 1st of January. Well, the best of luck. Thank you very much indeed, and thanks for the call.